Uh, going over to the Culture Bar podcast, you have a California public librarian bragging about being the biggest slut and promoting her OnlyFans. Which, I guess it is California. I don't think, it's kind of funny, I don't think anyone's surprised by this type of behavior. Even though, again, it's a, you know, a library in which he's dressed very promiscuously. But I'll let you judge for yourself. I'll go ahead and I'll pull up here. Thanks, this comes to us. Thanks to good old Libs of TikTok. This, she says, quote, meet, meet Yesenia Villar, a librarian at Francis Howard Goldwyn Regional Public Library in California. Yesenia brags about being the quote, biggest slot in the library where she films sexually suggested videos. She then shares them on social media where she promotes her OnlyFans page. Our tax dollars pay her salary. How's this okay? I mean, in terms of the culture of California and most of the depravity there, it seems on brand for them. I'm actually only, the only thing that's not surprising, I guess, is that she's not doing this in front of children, which is the culture in many areas of California, which is obviously mentally and morally vacuous to say the least. And it looks like, well, it's probably terrible audio or some type of song that would make it, might hurt our earballs, so to say, but I will see. And then YouTube might take out the song. We'll see. We'll, we'll see here what the little video is. Is there any sound at all? Oh, there we go. Now I can see her and, uh, outfit i have on no outfit when i'm waiting for you and the wind of intelligence is loose like <laughs> intelligence is loose or lacking oh I'll, I'll rewind it so you can hear what she's actually attempting to say this is loose like i'm a blind thing your burrowed wet lips are telling me a number one by elaine Kahn. <laughs> sounds like a crappy outfit lipstick outfit commercial so she's wearing what looks like to be a slutty outfit for a librarian. She's wearing some heels, so at least she's putting some effort into her outfit. That's that's mostly vacuous these days, so at least she's doing something. But as she has a short, wait, what are those? A pantyhose? And she got a skirt. I don't know what you call that, like a t shirt with that goes to her elbows? And some type of weird looking lazy tie with three straps? Fascinatingly enough, she does not have pink or blue hair, though it is relatively short. It's a little bit above her shoulder. And she does, at least she has the cliche librarian glasses, so she has some branding there. Oh, dear God. <laughs> I should have done a, a warning. For, oh, hopefully no kids are tuning in this segment of the show. But you can see here, I don't know what's more offensive. She's got the, a, what, is it, what was it, a bondage gear on? I mean, she's covering up. I guess what we consider the naughty bits in terms of like what we get censored on, you know, regular primetime TV. And she also has like Elton John glasses on and lipstick, dark, uh, dark, dark red lipstick. And then she's out, and keep in mind, she's out in public with this. This looks like she's actually outside and she has a pin. Also, I'd be fascinated to know who's making this pin and selling these pins or do they just hand them out to the library for free. Again, no California to unfortunately the children there. The pin literally says, Biggest slut in the public library. So she's bragging about her promiscu promiscuity and how easy she is. Hmm. Fascinating what they value over there. Now, my bodily value got about 100,000 views and 1.7 thousand likes. My first comment comes from Gunther Eagleman who says, quote, Sickening, keep that shit at home where it belongs, getting 151 likes. AKA says, what is wrong with people, getting 43 likes. Planet of Meme says, this person should properly be fired, getting 6 likes. So that being said, it'd be eh, how would that work legally speaking? Because you're a government employee, so you have more protection than the private sector in regards to the Bill of Rights and your freedom of speech. You're also a librarian and doing inappropriate things where most people would, with the modicum of intelligence, I would argue, would say this is not work appropriate. You're also technically working on the job using government entities or government assets to increase to create a second dual come of income. Because again, she's using the public library to promote her business. Or would that be okay? Uh, I mean, her tax... Well, I don't know if she actually pays taxes, but... I mean, her taxes do pay for part of that library, too. And clearly, has no class. But I wonder how it will work out legally if anyone tries to actually get her fired. Cool Christian Engineer says, Women... You have the picture of the pink-haired, cliche woman in this cartoon. It says, Women are not... A, a woman is not a commodity. Then you have a picture of that same girl smiling in the bedroom. It says, Subscribe to my OnlyFans for only six ninety nine a month. Okay, 128 likes, which, yeah, that is funny, the hypocrisy. Also, Tech Daddy says, it would be a real shame if the Los Angeles Public Library 
So I saw this and fired this person. 19 likes. Now, it's funny because knowing the California Ultra and the California public, public, well, public entities, if anything, they'll probably give her a raise and call her brave. I mean, let me know in the comments. Do you think she'd actually get fired for this? I'm pretty skeptical. Moderate to Severe says, quote, What's the select competition look like at the library? Really, how hard is it to be number one? Fair. That's a fair question. There's 24 likes for that one. I mean, it's kind of cliche to say, but, you know, back in my day, most librarians were elderly, nice ladies, and they, you know, dressed properly. I mean, in the real world, how many, that'd be, that'd be a fascinating statistic, how many, like, traditionally attractive women are there in librarian roles in the United States? Like, 2%, 3%? What does that market look like? And then Libercat Media TM says, quote, these people are sick, and as a kid throwing out the rainbow saying, leave the kids alone, getting 98 likes, one of the most top ones. Ashley Bay says, hey women, and it's a tweet by Gia McCool, saying 99% of women underestimate the power of making her husband a sandwich and delivering them in a sundress. Fact check true, getting 72 likes. Well, it's never been easier, I mean, to be a wife, thanks to the low-carb diet, most guys don't even eat sandwiches these days. The Steven, Steven Steele says, geez, could, could, and grammar is this, he is, could be at least hot, getting 48 likes. Grammar be damned. So, mostly people roasting her. Although, shoot, I don't know how much she's getting paid on that website. Maybe she's, maybe she's making hundreds of thousands of dollars. But, yeah, in terms of ramifications, I wonder... I mean, we've seen public police officers who have lost their job because of those types of similar actions where they're using... Their police uniform and they're using police assets to promote their OnlyFans, those types of things when you have gals in that role. Now, again, in terms of this role, I mean, she's not, I don't think there's technically a library uniform per se. I and mean, I don't see a logo for the library in it in terms of intellectual property. I mean, I don't think it'll actually go to court, but let me know. Do you think if, if it actually does go to court, do you think any, would, anything would happen in terms of would she lose her job? Or would it be more or less the same and just give her a slap on the wrist? Although now that I say that, she might be into it. So, although it's 2024, I can't judge, of course. But let me know in the comments, as always. Be fascinated to hear what you have to say. Thank you, everyone, for taking the time to tune in. Again, trying to get to 4,000 subscribers by the end of the month. So if you can click that button, I'd greatly appreciate it. Also, give me a thumbs up. A thumbs down or comment is a great way to give me some additional feedback, letting me know how I can make the show better and better. Lastly, don't forget to take the time to tell your family, tell your friends, tell your coworkers, heck, tell your enemies, tell anyone and everyone. Just stay safe and fight the good fight.